Hi everybody, it's Miss Morgan again. I've had some students tell me that when they download a Google document, they're having trouble seeing the document, either because the document itself is too small or because the font size is so small that they can't see to edit. So we're gonna talk about a couple of ways that you can troubleshoot this and fix it so that you can adjust the font size to a size that you can see and comfortably work with. So let's head over to Google and take a look. All right, first thing we have is a document, and while I can read it, it is a little bit small to work on. So the first thing that I'm going to check when I'm troubleshooting this issue is I'm going to look at my internet zoom settings. To do that, I'm going to find the settings for my browser. I'm using Google Chrome, so those are going to be in this vertical ellipsis, these three dots stacked on top of each other. So if you click on this vertical ellipsis, you'll notice that about halfway down it says zoom. And my zoom right now is set to 80%. So I have a couple of options here. I can either click on the little square out to the right and it will make my screen full screen. Or what I can also do is I can adjust that zoom to 100%. So I'm going to click twice and now my screen is at 100% and you can see my document got larger. So this is at 80% and this is at 100%. Sometimes it's not the, it's not the internet settings at all. Instead, it's your document settings. So if you're at 100% like I am right now and your document or your font is way too small to see, then we'll check our zoom settings for the document. The first thing that you can do is you can simply use the magnifying zoom tool. You'll come to your toolbar, you'll click on this magnifying glass with the plus sign, place the magnifying glass over your document, and click, and that will zoom in on your document. You'll notice that your slide bars then show up, and you can use those to help center the document. You can continue clicking to zoom in until you get the font as large as you need and then use the slide bars to adjust the section of the document that you are working on. When you're done zooming, you have to click the plus sign with the magnifying glass around it again to turn off the zoom and then continue editing. Another thing that you could try if your document is too small is you can look at the zoom bar again, but this time click on the down facing arrow. This will bring up a zoom menu. If you click on fit, this will fit the entire document page to your screen, so you can see the entire page at one time. If the font's still too small for you to see, then click that down arrow again, and you can choose to zoom the document into 100%, 200%, or you can use the zoom in and out tools to customize how large you want that document. So you can make that document as large or as small as you would like. Sometimes your Google Drive may just mess up the formatting of the document because you don't have the same font on your computer. If that's the case and you've already checked both of your Zoom settings, both the internet browser and Zoom on the Google Doc, and you still don't like the amount of size that you can get the document to, then what you can do is you can simply select the font you can change the font to something else. Or the other thing you can do is you can just change the font size by going to your toolbar. Right next to the font name, you can click minus to make the font smaller or plus to make the font bigger. Now keep in mind, if you're making the font smaller or bigger, it may overlap things that are already there. For instance, if I select this food biomolecules and the carbon cycle to make it larger, you'll notice that if I continue to zoom in, the word carbon cycle disappears because it's layered behind these other words. So if that's the case, you'll have to do some rearranging on the document. So try your zoom settings first, and then if those still don't work, then you can adjust the font size as a last resort. So I hope these tips help you figure out how to adjust the font size on a document 
so that you can easily read it and edit it for class. If you have any questions, you can always email me or message me in Canvas, or you can log into your Zoom call during an asynchronous time of class, and I'm happy to answer those questions or help you access the document in a way that works for you and the device that you're currently accessing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.